Good body shot from Taylor right there. Catterall does well when he can think. I want to see Josh Taylor take away his ability to think and attack him the way that he is. Find out, right? You don't know how you're going to deal with a moment like that. But can he make the adjustment to pull away in this fight? For Catterall, he's thrown 320 plus punches to 184 for Taylor. That is a knockdown. Six. Six. Right now. Massive upset. Or will Josh Taylor escape and retain all four belts? For your winner by split decision and still undisputed super lightweight champion of the world, the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor! You've retained your titles, you've still got them in a split decision. Yeah. Did you believe that you had done enough over those 12 rounds to keep hold of your belts? Yeah, 100%, yeah, I thought I started a little slow. First I had a little slow, but once I got into my rhythm and started getting my, my timing in a little bit, I started catching with the bigger shots. And, you know, he was trying to spoil a lot, you know, uh, going down an awful lot. I clashed a lot of my heads, a lot of clashed my heads. But, you know, he caught me a couple of good shots as well, though I'm not going to lie, but, yeah, it wasn't my best performance, you know. I put a hell of a lot of my pressure on myself um, this, this week, this couple of weeks, it being my homecoming, the first time in, you know, three years, you know, the first time since lockdown and all that. Back at home, I put a hell of a lot of my pressure on myself with being the heavy favourite, and it showed in the first the first half of the fight. But once I got my rhythm, it's I started catching with the bigger shots and catching them and catching them out. You know, wasn't my best performance, but I, I believe I got the win, 100% got the win. But Jack did very well. What was it tonight that meant that you couldn't find that rhythm that we've been so accustomed to seeing? I'm not sure. You know, I could just put a little bit too much pressure on myself. You know. Um, with being being the, the heavy favourite, being the first time at home, you know, put my pressure on to uh, put on such a good show. I put, I put on my pressure on myself to put on a good show in front of my home fans, but it didn't matter in the end. You know, I got the good result. I know I, got, I know I won the fight. It was close. I let them I let them have a little bit too much more success with me loading up a little bit. But overall, I scored the bigger shots, the better shots, the more meaningful shots. You know, so I, I know I won the fight. I know I won the fight, but it was a little bit close. But I know I won the fight. Yeah, I have to be honest with you, you don't score the fight, but the general consensus online, I know those guys don't matter, but the general consensus online was that Jack Catterall was unlucky not to leave here with the belts tonight. He put up a good fight, that's for sure, but he never won the fight. He never won the fight, and he knows he never won the fight, you know, so I believe I won the, they came along, the four, the, the four, five, fifth, six, seven, in the second half of the fight, I started taking over. So, yeah, it wasn't my best performance, and uh, yeah, but we moved forward, we moved forward, we got the win, and that's it. I have to ask you about the weight, not that you would ever use any excuses for anything, but all the talk is about how you looked at 10 stone 140. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your last fight at 140? Can you still campaign at this level and get I, the best, I mean, Josh Taylor? Yes, you made it, but are you honest, leaving a lot the on the floor? I made the, I made the weight pretty well. I made the weight good, but it is getting harder to make that weight. You know, it is getting harder. That most likely will be my last fight at 140. Um, but we'll sit down with my team. Um, I left it a little bit late as well to start the preparations for making the weight cut that fight with injuries and stuff. You know, so we left a little bit late and taking the weight off because I couldn't get the weight off with the times with my condition and the running and things like that with my knee injury and stuff. So I left a little bit late to get the weight off. But I still made the weight and I still performed, but it showed a little bit in my performance. But we'll sit down with my team, but most likely that'll probably be my last performance at 140. That probably answers my next question. You're probably going to have to deal with some calls for a rematch. Would you entertain that or is that weight? too much of a problem now that you couldn't do it again even if you had to? We'll see how it goes. I don't think there's any need for a, for a rematch. I, I think I won the fight. I won the fight with a couple of rounds. I got. I won the I won the fight in the second half of the fight. You know, I took over, bossed them. You know, he was doing a hell of a lot of, a hell of a lot of holding and spoiling. And then I think the, the ref taking a point off me probably hurt me a little bit, but I still won the fight. I still won, I thought I still won the fight. You've kept hold of your belts. I hope you think I don't, don't think I'm being disrespectful. I pointed out you don't score it. You've kept the belts. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers.